Welcome back, guys, to Nino Kuni Remnant Kingdom, Layer of the Lost Lord. As you join me back on level 68, where I've taken a long time to clear out some enemies here, just to make sure I can get nearest the orb total before we hit floor 69. So 68, we're gonna do a skip me. It's just another floor, after all. Just, just that one extra floor. Yes, it's fine. Just so I can make sure I can up and inflate my orb totals a little bit more, because we only should have to beat one challenge. As we move on to floor 69. When we were plasma pods, when using only Leander, well, plasma pods was my previous criteria. Before anything, then I have to find an enemy, don't I? Not only an enemy, but an enemy that is small enough to be plasma podded is the real problem here. And that my teammates aren't just gonna walk towards and just destroy horribly. And that's the plasma pod, so life's good there. Everyone is paralyzed. Did I put two power pods, plasma pods out? I don't know. But this Wainworth is out for the count, can you say? Completely and utterly. Um, that's the orbs we kind of need, isn't it? Well, let's drop through the door and get ourselves to a boss now, finally. Yet again, another boss. No side quest game last episode, even though we came to floor 63 and have gone past that. Somewhat disappointing, but even the chests I'm getting now are actually getting me the good stuff. Greetings. King Melzer! In exchange for 20 orbs, the might of Oakenheart is mine. I don't need it. I'm strong. I'm powerful, Melzinger. I don't need buffs or anything like that. I'll be able to take on whatever's down here, surely. I'm confusing an M on bowl. Bowl, bowl, bowl. I think an L. Because it should just be the boss that we saw at level 63 again. Just this time, placed properly at the end. A new leaf book posts. Okay. I only caught a glimpse of her and her back was turned to me, but there was no mistaking the ruler of my homeland, Queen Nelia. What could she be doing so far from home in a labyrinth, no less? Why would she put herself in danger? Ah, Queen Nelia's in here? Now, is this something we're getting from floor 70? Is she right ahead of us? Or deeper, deeper still? Well, if we're fighting a dragon, do you know what? Now that things are starting to reach higher levels, why not, you know? Makes sense, right? Make ourselves stronger for the dragony fight. Though I would like to switch uh, character just a little bit. Hi, hey, Ints. We're not going to take you on just yet. I'm just switching character. There we go. So I can use Ebswain against you. I want to find out how my super powered ass. Well, it's going to do crazy damage. Now the enemies are level 100. That's a big ass spell there. Oh, nice spell there. Leander. I'll appreciate it. I have 28,000 in damage right there. Alright, I hit a power here at least. The rare hits that I never hit. I like it. I like it quite a lot. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, we landed. That could work in my favour. But to be honest, he's probably going to run. Oh, he got hit on the tail then. Let's stay out of the poison. Thought he was going to tell with me then, but not so much. In the meantime, Higgledy God is going to work. This guy's been poisoned a fair bit. And I think... We've got enough for one final spell. And that's going to land perfect. Beautiful. Someone became poisoned? Well, I don't care. We level up and we win our fight. What's this, however? I got it and I have no clue what it is. That's always disappointing. <laughs> you obtained a volume of the Mechanics Manual. Two of them, in fact. As it's dropped out there as we get a Worm's Talon as a new weapon. Right. 
How good are you, Worm's Talent? Well, you're better than Epswing's Elegy in some senses. Less physical, scorched earth on you. Makes critical hits stun more lightly, imbues weapon with fire, huge damage boost versus nature monsters. I think that should go on you then, sir. You can have the Worm's Talon. But I'm just getting things for Roland and Evan all the time. I want some, some other guys. Well, we know Queen Naria's in here now. What am I going to get from the chest itself? Ooh. A pan elemental sword. Again, another sword. <laughs> the other guys want equipment too. Okay, a pan elemental sword is again way strong. It has nature as a talent. Massively improves physical defense, massively improves magical defense, massively increases fire damage, massively increases water damage, massively increases wind damage. Uh, oh, well, you're the spellcaster. God, how Zeta's blade has ended up worse. Okay, actually, switch off Excelsior. You, Roland can have Excelsior as well, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll work out, surely. <laughs> well, Evan, Roland, you are my ridiculously geared and powerful characters. I would love some defensive gear, because the defensive gear stats are like, with the massive pluses that they're given. Seems to be ridiculous, but new models are sold all the time. As we step ever deeper in the labyrinth, another 10 floors to come. Unless we run into Queen Naria, but I want to at least uh, unlock the level 80 gate, you know? I don't want to be turfed out before I've got there. Alright, all ally attacks are critical. Our gate is behind us. There's tons of chests everywhere. Use forcing skills twice. Win with fully charged range attack. I've really not managed that. Win without taking poisonous mist damage. That should be fairly easy. I think it's up, eh? We'll give you 17 orbs and I'll give you a real challenge. I don't have 17 orbs right now. Now we need to find someone that's going to poisonous mist. As everything starts to reach my level. Well, the first floor is where things are really done, if you know what I mean. I guess we've got to find a monster that's going to drop the poisonous mist on me first and foremost. However, none of these really are. Let's go to work. Seems everyone's gone onto the range setting now. I'm counting on you. It does nothing. Addictive Bane Wing bows gained there. Do you know what? I reckon that. Everything we pick up now is going to be better than what some of our guys have. Oh, when did we get F Swain's Twilight? What? <laughs> Voice. Charge attacks are a bit easier to block. Oh, okay. High chance of putting folks to sleep. Massively strengthens melee attacks. Huge damage boost and max MP. Here you go, Batu. We have F Swain's Twilight here. What the hell? Well, if that's the case, then let's put. Mr. Ranged Attack, but also boost melee attacks in. Let's see if we can finish off one of these guys. Ah, oh, I'm not really getting what I want here, am I? At all. I love switching weapons, though. Right. Shall we? You kids. One day I'll manage. One day. So the stuff I'm picking up from the chest now is pretty damn good. <laughs> One day you'll get there. But unfortunately... Oh, there's a guy who drops poison mist. Alright, at least we'll get 50 ores from that so we can actually move down the squares. I am counting on you all. Oh, or not. matter if they're level not very high. 
it still will just nuke people to oblivion. Well, this floor we spent way too much time on. We'll get an honourable Dazzling Dawnlight Lance, which is probably going to be better than Leander's, I'd imagine, at this point. Or not, but there's tons of stuff that's come out since then. We're basically looking for good stuff. I'm looking for... I want spears. I mean, I got a fair few hammers upgrades for the hammer characters while being in here just on the lower floors. But I've really got nothing for the spear users. Nice that Bantu's got this crazy super shooty weapon now. But it's kind of like we don't really have a place to use it. I mean, we could give one more go at trying to get the shooty going on here. That's irritating. <laughs> I feel like even though I must have killed some enemies with that stuff, that I'm not getting anything for it. Well, let's get out of here. We're not going to get any of the good stuff. This is going to be a terribly bad orb floor at this rate. Oh, there! I got it! Only if I hit him at a stupidly close range. Oh, man, his stuff does stupidly good damage, doesn't it? I was wondering, have we got poison floors coming through yet? Look at that damage. You guys don't happen to poison the world out, do you? Okay. Now we've changed things a little bit. Oh, they do do poison. Right. Spending that long on that first floor was really good. 121 orbs off of one floor. Okay. That sets us up for the rest. That's a good base limit. We're looking really to get 50, 50 orbs from each floor. At least I finally got a cha charged range attack as well. Just dodge all the time. You never get hit then. Hundred and twenty eight orbs. Now we can be a bit more pick and choosy, can't we? Well there's another guy that would drop more poison stuff on me. Ah, may as well. It's orbs and they're right here. And every attack is critical. So no matter what, the fights themselves pretty fast. An exasperating Grandmaster Blaster as we finally make it down to floor 72. I've got to say, now having gone through 60 floors, I think that is more than enough floors to go through. I do wish, and I'm pretty sure any gamer that looked at the list of things to do, we were in a Pactotron? Would have preferred, simply put, like none of this to happen in the fact that they preferred gameplay outside of one of these labyrinths yet again. Alright, an Impactatron, you say? Okay. How does that work? That's an Impactatron, uh, and that's a big spell. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> it's like a surface to air missile, except that it would be coming through so much surface to get here. Surface to air missile. That's exactly what it's not like. A surface to air missile would be coming from the ground to the air. Great analogy, Sam. It'd be like a bunker buster, except it is just happening in the same room. Surface to air missile. I like it because when it spells out, it spells out Sam. That's what I am. Surface to Emissa. From my mouth to your ears. Anyway, a piece of paradox. God, we'll just knock our way out of here now. I don't think there'll be any more enemies to even get ding dong power strikes on. 
Tell a lie, there is one right next to a chest. Why do we not just kill you quickly and get the two orbs that you drop from your stuff? Might take a lot longer when you're uh, not critting every second, eh? Another dawn light lance. Is that better than what our lance users are using? I try to cycle up weapons between every little bit we've done. Only two floors down of the 70s. Do you think Queen nearly is at 83, maybe? I mean, I've been wandering around enough. She's definitely not at 73, looking at the structure of things. When with a torch turret, when about with poisonous mist appears. Okay, you're the one with the torch turrets? No, you're not. Leander is. Okay, then. <laughs> the about taking damage, we'll have to be a different fight then. That's that bit done. Win about taking damage shouldn't be too hard. And just not letting everyone nuke someone to death instantly would be great. When a battle with poisonous mist appears, looks like this dragon, to be honest, could be my target. I could really get some orbs really fast here. But really, I want the others to do stupidly good damage. And just allow me to be elsewhere. I mean, we've definitely got the win where poisonous mist appears now. This win without taking damage that's interesting to me right now. Does that not count? I guess it means anyone at all taking damage, eh? Ah, uh, I think 283 orbs after three floors is pretty good. So we won't go for the win without taking damage bit. I think that's a fair thing to move away from. Let's go over there. A shiny pendant protection IV. Now that's more lo like I'm talking about. Some other stuff. Attachments, defensives. That's I'm interested in. Hey. Getting your weapons in tip-top condition enough. You need to make sure to use them properly. No, we don't need to get buffs on the next floor. Don't you understand I'm level 100? Oh, I am level 120. When'd that happen? Is everyone level 120? When did that happen? Well, that said then, I don't need this necklace of enlightenment anymore. Where's my newest thing that just popped out right here? Charge attacks are easier to block. Seriously strengthens melee attacks as well. Yeah, why not? Evan can just be totaled up with even more powerful stuff. Yeah! <laughs> yeah -hey! Next floor. We've already got, I'd say, a total that would be by floor 75. By well, floor 76, actually. Torch turret, only Leander. Okay. He is also the torch turret guy, so that makes things a little bit easier. Something tells me we bump into a door before we even find an enemy. Because to be honest, that's 60 orbs for one battle again. Blade Grand Gloaming Hammer. There's an enemy. Get him, torch starts. Ooh, it did get him. Like, we also got another talent by the look of it. Oh, well, we got all, all of them? Hey, I'll take it. 58. Let's get out of here. What even was the last one? I didn't even look at it. Oh, enemies in our way. Well, if they're there, I may as well fight them. Hey, 102. They're trying to catch up, aren't they? Excuse me, I'll take your Latanu bow. And I will trust in everyone else to be able to finish off the rest. No, okay, I'll finish it. Let's take that chest. 
Hello. Pitch black sword of sunrise. Another, another, another sword. Something tells me I have to floor 80 or so. I might want to look through my gear a little bit. Find out what's best for me. I haven't even looked at the HP bar in so long, but now I'm noticing, oh my god, I'm actually taking the tiniest amounts of damage. Oh, I had to be in the poison zone. Oh, you, you, you interrupted my spell? That's super irritating. Don't you be making me take damage. Whoop, whoop. Did I hit? Nope. That's part of the problem with the death dodging thing. I didn't dodge that. Man, I take no damage though when I get hit. And then he takes 600 damage and quite surprised. I'll tell you, my light friends, do you want to finish this off for me? Still managed to get out of here. Okay, the enemies are starting to do some damage. Let's not take this as a completely easy jump through the park, which it has been thus far. I mean, there are difficulty levels if you want to crank it up again. But I remember the outcry when it said like you could only get down the bottom of for that special boss by clicking over to hard. That's not game design. We should be happening. Without using skills, without taking damage, only Leander. Okay. Been able to stick with this party pretty much, haven't I? So, if these are the criteria. I would like my guys to join me in this constant ranged fest that we're doing. When about using skills? Somehow I use a skill? Oh, I don't remember doing that. Well, let's take on this guy. This should be the win without using skills that I need, shouldn't it? You didn't see me use a skill, did you? Well, that is gonna be nearly enough orbs. And we're only halfway down. Do you think I get something even more if I get double the orbs? <laughs> What's the highest orbs I got there? Like it must be like high 600s that I've cared to use or get down there with. Hello, you're behind me here. I, I do not care for the ghost or darkness. You you want 20 orbs so that you can have some light? No, 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 no. You can just go home. I mean, the portal is right there. Win a battle where poisonous mist appears. Win without taking damage, win without using restoratives. Well, poison mist. Oh, wait, do you do poison mist? Hmm. I need to move. It's gonna take out so many after all. Wait, you weren't knocked out? Oh, you. Wasn't expecting that. I got them all. Just the wave worm left. It's not about where poison will appear. The jellyfish is where poison will appear. I thought this would be nice and easy. Should be able to finish this off now at least. Doors in the completely opposite direction. There was no reason for me to go here. Uh, I got something. No clue. So what I want to do is I want to take out all the side guys. You block that? Okay, you only got some of the damage done. Now supposedly the heli jelly can do poison too. I have seen- oh. 
I think I was doing well for not taking damage until I took the damage. I think that was the way. Anyway, what's this in the meantime? A set of accursed diabolical mail? Oh, now you beat it. Gonna be here a little bit earlier. No massive orb drop, but all the same, we're at 500. We got there. The target number is reached. Our target number. Oh, Leander, you're popular. <laughs> At least your dodge as well is a little bit quieter too. A watery spear of solitude, eh? I do wonder, is there anything better for you melee weapon wise than what we've got? Oh god, there's tons of stuff. A watery spear of solitude is pretty good. We've also got the honourable dazzling dawnlight lance. Hey, take it when you can, Leander. Any upgrades? Any upgrades? You might not have got these super upgrades that the uh, sword users are getting, but do what you can. Oh, I think we got two for that. Oh, all three. See, that one did some poison then. That's what we wanted. What about using skills was easy enough. Win with Leander. The poison mist, that was 90 orbs in a split second. Who cares about you guys? I think I'm max level. Job done. What's next? Laden with treasure again? To be honest, it's not a bad map to get. What about using skills, restoratives, just getting zing twice? Isn't that hard? Which way's the door? That way it was. And to be honest, with if the materials you're picking off the ground on the one not a bear, because you can just walk down to the lower floors, it makes things, it makes gathering stuff a lot easier. He says he picks up a pebble. Don't worry, we'll trade it. Sapphire Prism. A pebble. <laughs> Classic Claw. A pebble. Oh. Well, it wanted me to use full zing skills twice. I didn't even use it once. Alright, another Ur Ogre's Axe. So, another quest item that we've gained from another source. Drop the floor. So close to an next boss. Seems to take about a half hour between bosses, depending on how much you're trying to do the aura objectives. Right, next door. Well, if we didn't have max level on everyone by now, this would be the floor to start grinding it, wouldn't it? We're only using Roland. I can let that happen. That's fine by me. And to be honest, with the gear that Evan has at this point, you kind of want him to lead any boss fight. Plasma Pod 2 and Restoratives. See if even if I can find one fight. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be an enemy. What happened to those spawner pods? I haven't even seen one, like, for so long when I think about it. Oh, well, well, well that was the floor. Hey. Well, let me make an offer. You give me 27 orbs, I'll tell you the secret to change your life or improve the quality of your equipment at least. Go on, then. High quality kit on the next yeah. floor, but that's the boss floor. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, being able to get that modification is pretty good. I guess we'll switch back to you now. Let's just get, yeah. Evan, yeah, Evan, switch Evan in. Keep Batu, big old Batu. Do I get healing for going in the back rooms? I don't know anymore. We're going through again. Let's find out what we're fighting. It's boss time. I'm guessing it'll be a boss door too. 
Well, we can get high quality kit here. Do you know what? That might not even count for anything as we open the door towards what level is he now? And still you live. Oh! It's the Prince of Raves and he looks even nastier this time. You will go no deeper. The rift must remain open. You will obstruct me no longer this time. At last, you will die. Try it if you like. It's not going well for you so far, but to be honest, I'm expecting you to pull out some new things. You're going to be 120 maximum then. That's me trying to dodge, but he does damage now. Not sure I like these Orby boys taking me, to be honest. Just keep dodging. Just get him to enact this. That's all I have to do from now on. But I really want to get my Higgledies going so I can get like a heal going. But equally, I could just use one of the guy's things. Yep, just dodge for days. Do this combo. What's he doing now? Oh, he's been frozen by someone's orb. Or by my weapon, one of the two. What the hell? Range on your strike, sir. Uh, how do I use items again? I haven't had to for God knows how long. Okay, he hurts a bit now. Whoa! Launch yourself out, much, sir. Let's dispel some of these poison clouds, shall we? The great thing is the healing of other people, too, at the same time. Now we're on who we need to be. Big old fireball, that'll work for me. Ah! Nope, need to go in with the small combos first. I would like those Higgledies to join in a little bit. Leander's a bit low now. Oh, these orbs give me all these extra hits. How long can I go for? I mean, use your own healy things if you want to, guys. Wow. Ow. Trying to change character. Evan. We just chucked all the- 68,000 damage! Is that what the big thing did? Wait, what? I was like, I'll just check out anything I can on him now that he's stuck in a spot with all my gizmos. And then, wait a second, the big thing came down on his head and did 68k? What? It seems we are as stubborn as one another. Gosh. Bye then. Blimey. Another ghost. Where was that one hiding? <laughs> Some place well out of the way, that Rafe Prince Swabal warrant, and quite rightly so. He's a terror damn his eyes. All right. Let's see what he has to say. All right, we obtain a volume of the Manual of the Maiden again. Two of which, in fact. And an Ebswain's Redoubt. Oh my goodness, we could make stupidly overpowered Evan the best. Did we get any more special weapons of ridiculousness? Or well, to be honest, loads of stuff's better than Seth's Blade now. Poor Seth. Okay, Ed Swain's Redoubt. Amber. Massively improves his physical defense. Greatly boosts resistance to all elements. Greatly boosts resistance to all elements. Increases maximum MP by one! I mean, this is perfect for you again. Just have all the good stuff now. No one else is allowed any. You just have it all. It'll be fine. The crazy that's going on there. Massively increases dark damage, by the way. Would probably be good on you, considering you don't need this anymore. Take the Sumerian ring. 
You've got a super dark attack after all. That will go for me. In the meantime, let's take the Omniproof Elysian armor, which I could only make a few bits for. Uh, anything else that I've managed to pick up without realizing? This is really the question most of the time now. No weapons. The Deadly Overlord's Hammer is here, which is better than Batu's Pride. To some respects. Why not? Well, hello. Let's plug in my orbs and see what other thing I get. We have Super Evan. And apart from that... We have even more super rare as <laughs> we get another sword, an interstellar sword. To be honest, the whole getting new items thing is actually the best part. <laughs> I'm enjoying that. Well, interstellar sword is a shooting star, massively strengthens range attacks, massively improves magical defense, makes critical hits tons more likely, ups MP cost to boost spell power a lot, massively weakens melee attacks. What? Okay. Well, it's only when I'm using it, right? <laughs> that's something I definitely don't want on Roland, so... That's fine. The Zeta's Blade has dropped so far down the rankings list, it's unreal. <laughs> but the, uh, the amount of gear I'm getting... Specifically in a certain slot... It's slightly ridiculous, wouldn't you say? Oh! Uh, uh, we've got a second Stellar Ray Gun here. <laughs> I find this ridiculous. Do you know what? I actually think that's better than the Dead Knight one. So let's, no, no, wait a second. No, 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 no. Let's switch that. And then you've got the other Stella. Okay, with the, unlo with the still locked one? I don't know anymore. The stuff we're getting is ridiculous. I don't know when I picked that up, but I obviously did. Galleon, servant of Lord Remnus, general of the army of Ebswain. I swore an oath to my fallen comrades to protect and serve my master no matter what might come to pass. But here I too fell, my mission unfulfilled, my promise broken, a disgrace to my nation, an embarrassment to my people. Cursed to look on as Lord Remnus changed, as he became that warped and broken thing, that prince among wraiths. Flippin' Nora! Whoa, 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 whoa! You what, man? You're telling me this Lemnus bloke and the Prince of Leifs are the same person? I am. None knew his prowess with a sword better than I, and none could imitate it. It is he. Oh, whoa, it is he. Wow. So the guy we've been fighting this whole time is the same one who sealed the labyrinth away in the first place? Uh... But that means we're on the same side. Why would he be trying to stop us? He is not himself. He believes Epswain yet survives, and the Juran invader, intent on wresting his kingdom and its beloved people from his grasp. But this does not excuse his allowing the power of the Rift to run rampant, and a black tide of monsters to pour forth. What of the sacrifices loyal followers made? So many lives lost for naught. Hmm. You said yourself, he's not in his right mind. He's been keeping the evil at bay for centuries now. Nobody can be expected to hold out against that kind of power forever. Hmm. So he thinks he needs to fight us to win his kingdom back. That's why he's sending us all these tainted monsters against us. <sighs> it would seem so. And if Lord Remnus has become the Prince of Race, that means no one is performing the right that keeps the Rift under control. Sadly not. And it is to him and him alone that the knowledge of how the right must be performed was entrusted. I know only that the Kingmaker must be sacrificed in order for it to remain effective. Do you share his resolve? His dedication to holding back the knight? Or your own kingdom might suffer the fate of Ebswain in the process? Yeah. Wait, you mentioned a Kingmaker, right? And I'm sensing one down by you somewhere. Or the power of one at least. How can we get this right back up and running? There might still be a chance, you know. All right. Then that's what we have to do. Let's find Lord Remnus, bring him back to his senses, and see if we can restore the right of entombment. We'll have to follow him all the way to the rift. He'll have gone there to call on even more of its power, I'm sure. But if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. There is another way. Abandon your kingdom and save yourselves. For as long as the rift remains, though its wicked power be kept at bay, the risk of your destruction lingers. Hmm. Thanks, but we're not going anywhere. If I want to unite the world, I can't just run away the moment things get difficult. Unite the world? Truly, you are full of surprises. Good luck. 
little king. And so all that's left is to go deeper. Deeper ever still. For now, anyway. Because we know... We might bump into a certain someone shortly. Mind you, this is starting to be the end of our dungeon exploration. 20 floors remain. What else can I find? Mm. You won't find many people capable of casting a Hexel 2 down here. You need that six orbs though, don't you? That's fine. Destroy Monster Mound. Another oh, Monster Mounds are back. Use free Higgledy skills too and use Bracken. Ah, uh, wrong thing again. Bracken, get in here. Should be fine with that, no matter what. Alright, so the portal's right there. But hopefully we can just run into a normal fight. Ah, oh, well. I kind of want to destroy the mountain, monster mound as well. And it itself probably won't be too far away. I was about to say, I'm critically a lot. Is there a... Yes, there is. I'll go up to you. If monster mound isn't there. And now, like, everything's just reaching level 100. The chests have got to be a lot better than what we've been getting to. Or so-so. Giving that stuff to that guy for the extra equipment really did not work out for me, did it? I don't see a monster man. See another chest, though. Oh, there's going to be a monster man down here. I didn't even need to do this. I just need to go three floors. What am I doing? Let's just go three floors. If there's nothing there, we just pop out for now. He says he still goes towards this. Because, let's face it. Every attack critical is ridiculous. Let's face it. Even if I go there, and there's that, and there is a boss, and there is a chest with a quest... I want to plug as many orbs as I can into that chest, right? Not fast up there, are you, Bracken? I mean, you're faster than Batu. Thank you for the super sick fur. Let's go with the loud version. I want to get out and check out my martial styles and all that, you know? Really should have just jumped straight in. That desire to play the game rather than let's play. We're so close after all. Oh, there's the door right there as well. Steal Knight and win without taking damage, win without using skills. Essentially, if I can get into one fight, I can get 40 orbs. Okay, there's a guy. <laughs> the thing I know about these guys, by the way, they don't carry items. Win without taking damage has not happened now. I don't even know why I engaged in this fight. Oh, the monster man's still alive. You're kidding me. I thought he was dead. Now that's how we take out the shield. Well, all the same. We at least got this chest. Untouchable block, flock, coat. And I use skills. Because if I switch to another character while I'm doing that stuff, it just counts it as having been used because the other character used it by the look of it. Always a shame. Always a shame. Hey! So you're a treasure spawning guy. On the next floor. Oh, there's a chest. Oh well. Floor 83. We're not going to reach there with much orbs if there is a boss at all. But let's hope there is, because there should be one more quest, right? Maybe they're just pacing out in the middle. Or not. Where the hell's Queen Naria? 
Uh oh. Now I'm really worried where she is. I didn't even realize there was a monster man there. Uh oh. A win without taking damage isn't going to happen, though. Still haven't used any skills, at the very least. Well, that's a shame. Oh, that didn't even count for skills? Okay. Where is Nuria? Where is that side quest? I thought there was just that one guy and I wouldn't take any damage, and then there was more than the one guy. I'm messing this up terribly. Oh no, where is Queen Naria? Is she deeper? A cool adventuring staff. Sounds kind of cool. Oh no. What about taking damage versus this opposition? Shouldn't be too bad. Until the guy runs straight into my face, of course. Someone's gonna take damage, aren't they? Well, I didn't. That didn't count for me. She's not here. Do I have much of a choice to go down to stuff like floor 90 now? Where is the queen? Was she actually just somewhere there? When did I get the the thing? Was it like floor 50 or so? I mean, I definitely looked around the place. Could she maybe just be at the entrance? <laughs> oh, the things I'm wondering right now. No, there is, is her no mistaken. To think she came all the way to assist us? If I see her again, I should not doubt my eyes. Maybe she... I just guess we keep on going. Which means I do need to do the challenges. Uh-oh. Floor 90, the maximum, right? What about you taking the skills, taking damage, use full zing skills twice? This is a really bad orb setup. Oh, wrong, wrong spell, wrong spell, wrong spell, wrong spell. Oh well. I need me to use a skill, which is the more irritating lot of the lot. Well, I guess I better take out a couple more enemies just to keep my orbs up. To full zing skills as we get a pair of freezy guards overlord boots. I say you're not blocked by the shield, are you? Oh, I can't not use skills and use skills at the same time. I can only really get one of that. Alright, let's go down now. That's 237. That's not a terrible amount by any means. 
Oh no, Queen Nerea, where are you? All enemy attacks were criticals on that floor? Oops. It really has ended up as just a grind fest. Win with an Impactatron. Win without being incapacitated. Win using only Evan. Obviously, I'll go for the Evan and incapacitation. But win with an Impactatron is fairly easy to make happen, to be honest. The annoying thing is just this area. You want to get nearer to enemies faster than this? Especially because I don't know if there's going to be enemies in front of there. There is. But I'd want two lots of enemies so I can win with the Impactron too. But to be honest, I'm better off just doing it with just Devon. Unless... Wait, yeah, of course I could just do that. Just switch you to that for the time being. Works too, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> Except they take time to charge. I haven't given it any time to charge. Oh well. I definitely improved my other talents, that's for sure. Alright, you finished that, I'll take this chest then. There's someone left! Didn't see him. Unremitting ring. Three hundred and seven, three hundred and nine, another chest here. Picking up weapons are plenty at this point. Now oh well, that's how it's gonna be. I may equip it, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work like that, so back to Ding Dong Disciple. I can't change them, so I don't even know what it shows, really. This was a high-quality kit for, finally, after we paid for it. God. God. Queen Naria? If she's not there by floor 90, then I'm worried that she's definitely somewhere up and I'm going to have to go search for her. Terrible. Give me some orbs. <laughs> nope. You're gonna make my Higgledy stronger? Nope. Win a battle where poisons mist appears? Destroy a monster mound. There's 40 orbs. Job done there. I'll take this twangy Aeolian sandals too. Be nice if the opposite direction there was an obvious poisonly emitting monster. Yeah, doesn't look like it, does it? I'll take the change chest after walking all this way, though. No, no, he could have been poison. What's down there? No one? Yeah, that's what I say. I don't think he emits poison. Ooh, and the scene sword. Didn't look to be anything down there at all, so we'll take what probably amounts to around 50 orbs on that floor. This is where I'd love like there to be a lady that just says, Here, have the thing. And I'll be like, yeah, cool. Maybe Queen Nerea isn't a side quest and I'm just fretting too much. Maybe the, all of the rest of the game is this dive. Deeper and deeper still. At the very least, there's been an absolute ton of... experience flaws. You get to level 120 no matter what, wouldn't you? Win without taking... Damage against this lot, eh? I'll do 
That's how we do it. A ton of gizmos. Why not? Another unremitting ring. We're up to 440 orbs. That's the way we like to see it. Uh, which way to the door? Straight ahead. Right, finish him good. Except you do more damage than I expect, even though you don't actually do any damage. Well, this sword obviously has frozen effect. Nice if I got a bit more freezing on that, to be fair. Good blow up already. Pretty please. Two more floors before the boss. We only need to pick up about another 50 orbs to reach soft target. I don't think I have a hard target, mind you. Items are plenty floor, eh? Oh, I don't mind that. Win using only Tarny. Ding dong combo strike win can be done as well. Defeat all enemies on this floor. To be honest, win with Tarny will get me pretty much there. Add Tarny in for a bit. And a win with a combo strike isn't too hard. Depends on how many enemies are around, though. That's the one. Well, that's. I was about to say, that's gonna do some stupid damage. And yes, it did. It did some stupidy, stupidy damage. Right, so 478 now. Let's drop another floor. This is where I get free things that are a lot harder to get. Women using only Roland will get me there without using restoratives too. Without taking poison plus damage. Ah, it's a nice set. We'll want you back in before the boss, Evan. Let's go beat up some guys. Right, let's go for you first. For the obvious issue. Where is the blaster that's... Oh, there it is. So Stella Jelly is going to possibly be using the poison damage. Oh, he got one shot, didn't he? Or not going to use the poison. I'll just let other guys do some damage to him for a time. Well, that counted. I guess it counted because he was a poisonous foe. So let's get to the door and get out of here. Hopefully the door's just right here. That'd be great. I think it is, you know. We picked up a ton of orbs on that floor. And now we've known not to pay you guys for a boss floor, haven't we? Haven't we? Hey. Ah, new medicine's the best yet. If you haven't let me try it. Oh, you healed so... me. How do you feel? You certainly look a great deal healthier. Just make it all this. Thank you for your help. Hey, hey, hey. You're, you're so much more useful there. Cheers for the massively big heal with all the MP and more. I'll take it. What's on floor 90? Layout less far is a standard boss floor. Nothing more, nothing less. And a gigantic dragon awaits. I think my ticker's still up for the dragons. So what level are you? And will you somehow beat me again, Int? I say beat me again, you haven't beat me once, but that's not the point. Oh, he's got HP now! Even so, if that hits, it's going to do some serious damage. Higgledy Knight would have been good. we got poison on him. I'm scattered, but I'm hoping the hit still comes in. No dodge. Thanks 
to the heel. Hey, what do you got? Show me what you've got. That's what I like to see. The fact that I could take no damage while also being in that mode is ridiculous. I'm thinking that would be enough to knock him down. Look at all the ults we get to claim as a bonus there. You say grab this. I'd love to see what it is. But then we did 44,000 damage on him from a ray of heaven. A worm's talent. And the sword. Unreal. Unreal. Another sword. So we pick up a manual of the maiden. A mechanics manual. And of course, plug in here. 600 exactly. I'll take it. Okay, Ev Swain's upper ramparts and defensive gear. I do not mind that at all. So, with yet another ridiculous weapon entering again, a Worm's Talon with Scorched Earth, more like to inflict stats elements too. Fire, critical hits, huge damage boost with nature monsters, the same kind of setup as before. That just means that pretty much everyone has ridiculous... Like, the sword weapons we've got are just another level ridiculous. What can you really do about that, though? What can you really do? Plus, of course, on top of that, we've got ourselves our new defensive gear. So I don't know who to give that exactly to at this point. I think you've actually got the least good there. But it's actually better. Oh my god, 708 physical? Comes with shield. Massively improves physical defense times two. Many more treasure chests appear. Increase maximum MP by one. Massively weakens magical defense. But, but massively weakens magical defense. You mean on the item, don't you? Well, it's still 413 base, and that's way better. Way, way better. I'd say that's a good fit for you. Alright, let's step through at least one more floor, see if anything takes place. But I think that's the end of another episode. But we're within 10 floors of the end. But we've got to wonder if Queen Naria has anything going on. Is she somewhere in here? To be honest, I thought this was going to be my last chance to get further. However, we now have ominous music for getting into the area. A soul smasher gained, but I don't think Queen Nari will be anywhere in sight. So there's a door seemingly right in front of me. I bid you farewell. We had another episode. Ten more floors to go. Will it be the final episode? Next time, the Lay of the Lost Lord. Join me next time to find out. And I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.